today's video is sponsored by GBG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. Hello guys, I should give place, I'm Fabio Pisco, and welcome to my channel. Today we have once again a, vi a, video, a, a video about the AMD Adrenaline Drivers, this time the 20.8.1, so the first revision of the drivers of August 2020. 20 the year, 8 the month, 1 the revision in that month. And well, if you're new to this channel, I'll let you know that I make these videos because people actually ask me to do them. Uh, so I'm basically sharing my experience with these drivers. My experience may differ from all of your experiences. And well, with the MD drivers, we know that is a, is a thing, exactly a thing. Uh, with almost every driver from every brand, but mostly on these new drivers from AMD, my experience will most likely be different from yours. But well, before that, what do this new driver version brings? As we can see in the release notes, we have support for several new games, for example, the Hyperscape, Horizon Zero Dawn and Grounded. We also have some fixes for common issues, for example, uh, that issue with instant replay causing some problems, that issue that I had sometimes, for example, when when uh, quitting a game using Alt F4 instead of the the normal the normal way to to quit uh, a game, your uh, f refresh rate would be locked. So, for example, you are playing, you have 75 Hz on your desktop you do alt tab or you quit the game uh, pressing alt f4 so forcing the game to quit um, and basically your refresh rate would be stuck at 30 hertz you would need to restart the drivers or you need to restart the computer in most cases so that seems to be fixed we also have a good amount of known issues but actually they have been decreasing from month to month which is actually good at least uh, we do have the 20.4.2 drivers that are the, the recommended ones and are pretty damn stable in almost every system. Uh, for those who don't have a stable system with the 20.4.2, they can actually have a stable system with the 20.5.1 or 20.7.2. Uh, well, as for my experience with 20.8.1, it is pretty great. I tested them. Uh, on my RX 5700 XT and my brother tested them a bit with my Vega 56 in the in the actually Ryzen 7 1700 build. In my experience the 20.8.1 drivers are really really great. Pretty great in almost everything but FreeSync. Yes, once again FreeSync is not correctly working, at least on my RX 5700 XT with my monitor which is an LG 34 inches 3440 1440. Uh, basically 75 hertz FreeSync, it isn't working properly for me, yes, it is annoying, really. Everything works fine, so no black screens, which is great, no black screens, Performance has actually improved a bit overall. I'll be showing you some of it, some of it in the end of the video. Nothing astonishing, but a bit, at least in the 1% lows in some games. I'll be showing you just one control, for example, uh, to not make this video longer than it needs to be. Um, but well, that, that's basically it. So good performance, no black screens, stability seems fine overall, but FreeSync is broken for me. So. How do you know FreeSync is broken? Basically, you see tearing. You don't see um, a smooth, a smooth gameplay because you'll have different images not connecting per se. You'll kind of have a cut, a cut down image. Basically, the same as not having VSync on a non FreeSync monitor. So the game won't feel smooth even at 300 FPS. Okay. And well, I can confirm that because. Once I go back to 20.4.2, once again, I can see a smooth gameplay in almost every game. The 20.8.1 has FreeSync working on some games, for example, Metro Exodus is a game where the FreeSync is working fine. 
uh, in some games the FreeSync is working better than the previous drivers 20.7.1 and 20.7.2 but it is still not completely functional. Uh, and in other games like Forza Horizon 4 it isn't even working like nothing. It is the same as if I don't have FreeSync. It is exactly the same. So in some games it is working, in others not completely functional and in others the, the remaining ones it doesn't even work with 20.8.1 at least in my experience. So yeah basically if you don't have free sync 20.8.1 drivers seem to be really damn great or if you have another monitor or maybe if you have free sync 2 well maybe you do not have these issues so yeah it is a roller coaster like I said with Vega 56 from my brother it seems perfectly fine so no crashes, no black screens, everything seems fine. So yeah, apart from the free sync, it is great. So ends me saying in the title that uh, it is almost perfect. It isn't perfect, but almost. And well guys, there's not much more to say actually. Uh, don't forget, leave a comment in the comment section telling us your experience. So we as a community, we have this good thing, which is you leaving your opinion in the comment section, leaving, leaving your experience to help others and to actually help um, the knowledge of, the, of our community in this same channel. So yes, leave your comment, leave your experience, let me know and let the other people know what is your experience, if it is good or bad, so actually even AMD can read the comments uh, and know what they need to do. So that's a really good thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Really, it does help a lot. Also, watch this video, this recent video I released yesterday, which is Ryzen 5 3600 versus the i5 10600K, both at stock and overclocked. It is a really interesting video. So guys, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Let's now go to the testing. Hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here?